Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Wasn't I just talking about Zach Brown? We're going to finish this conversation after I get my cut. I'm about to get a fresh one. I'm about to get tuned up. Top 10 defense. Top 10 defense. Coming right at you, dog. I just was talking about Zach Brown less than 24 hours ago. I'll be right back. Lil Brunson, back at you with the back at you. Ugh. So we go out there and we grab Zach Brown. It's crazy, man. I just was talking about this dude, man. I said the players that we released, which were a linebacker, an offensive, uh, an offensive lineman, a guard, and a cornerback, I said we're up to something. We are not done. I said this yesterday. And I've been talking about Zach Brown since before the draft. And we finally pick up Zach Brown. Zach Brown, in my opinion, is just like a gang tackling specialist. If somebody has the tackle halfway corralled or somebody, if somebody's already there to getting the job done, Zach Brown is coming over the top to make sure you get the job done. Um, Zach Brown has, has, has sacked Carson Wentz. Zach Brown has brought down Alvin Kamara by himself. Zach Brown is a really good short tackler. And I'm not sure if Zach Brown is there for inside linebacker purposes, but he's listed as an outside linebacker. And um, I think this move definitely, definitely, I'm telling you, puts us where we need to be as, as far as stopping the run. Um, Zach Brown in coverage, um, I wouldn't say that's his strong suit, but I believe he can cover. He has speed, he has power, he's a vet. It was the Buffalo Bills. He, Zach, Zach Brown... Zach Brown has a Pro Bowl season under his belt. Zach Brown is just what the doctor ordered. And we got him for one year. We got him for cheap. So these players that we're bringing in for these one-year stints prove that we're here for a specific window. We're here for this year. We're here for this year to go all the way, man. And Zach Brown, I believe, puts us in the conversation um, for having like a top five defense in the game. I mean, when you look at... Ah, make sure you're hydrate. Mm, man, that was good. Woo. When you look at certain uh when you look at certain teams and certain moves that teams make, you just gotta kinda be you gotta gotta you gotta be honest and you gotta kinda be in awe of the way things go. Now I love everything the Philadelphia Eagles have done during this whole free agency period, draft and all. And picking up Zach Brown um, furthermore proves the case that we had the best offseason out of the NFC East. Easily. The best offseason out of the NFC East. And that's not to take away from the good work that nobody in the division has done. But I, I just I just believe that we put in the most work. We were already a good football team. We already had a good roster. And I think we improved the roster. I believe this roster, this 2017 roster, this roster is better than the 2017 roster. It's better than the Super Bowl roster. I mean, I mean, the receivers are better. The run game is about equal now. Uh, we got to see what Miles Sanders do. Um, the linebacking core is better and stronger. The tight end group is better. Uh, you know, quarterback, um, quarterback kind of remains to be seen because you know Carson Wentz hasn't played deep into those cold winter months yet. But. I think I think the quarterback situation is better. Carson Wentz got experience under his belt. Um, he got a good supporting cast, a good team. He got a great defense. The defense is is the defense, in my opinion, is two times better. The defense is two times better, and you still got those core guys together that won the Super Bowl with you. So there's a familiarity with just everything that's going on. Listen, man, the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I, I think I think I think winning less than I think winning less than eleven games would just be. Would just be a downgrade for us, man. I, I, I believe like we're going after the number one or the number two seed, man, in the conference, man. I mean, just just so much excitement is swirling around the city. Um, we're in contention again. I mean, we are we are we are a Super Bowl threat. This move definitely made us a Super Bowl threat. We all been wanting a linebacker. A lot of people said we should have drafted a linebacker, but I'm not I'm not I'm not really big on drafting players and expecting them to come in and make an immediate impact. I'm big on looking at the free agents and looking at the proven players who can make a make an immediate impact. Look at the guys who already competed at this level and had success. We signed two former Pro Bowlers in the offseason. Those guys had success in Malik Jackson and Zach Brown. 
You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm at that because when you think about these rookies, man, I keep saying this, man. You can't expect too much out of these rookies. We know what they did on a collegiate level. At the same time, you cannot expect too much out of these rookies. Point blank, period. You got to you gotta lean on the guys who've gotten it done. You got to lean on your Jordan Howards who've played in tough games, who played in the trenches. You got to lean on your Deshaun Jacksons who's hungry. Your Alshon Jeffrey who's a Super Bowl champion, who's caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Zach Ertz has caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Corey Clement has caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. You got to lean on your core guys, man. And we got those core guys. The offensive line has greatly improved. I, mean, I could rant and rave about this team all day with the improvements that they made in the offseason. But it has to translate onto the field. This is why I say the job is, is the job is tough on the uh, on the players. Of course, they got to go out there and do the job. But I believe the job is even more tougher on the coaches because the coaches have to get these players in the best position possible to succeed. And there's no excuses with the amount of talent that's on this roster. Now, remember when the Eagles had... Um, Remember when we were saying that we were like, we had an all-star team, we had Vic, we had all these uh, wide receivers that we picked up in the offseason. I think it was like when we after we named Vic the starter and Vic came back, all these people wanted to play for the Eagles. We had Deshaun Jackson, we still had Shady McCoy, this, that, and the third. They were saying we had an all-star team. It didn't materialize onto the field. Why is that? I, I believe it's because of coaching. The coaching got to be on point. The coaching got to be on point. Offensive side of the ball and defensive side of the ball, they got weapons now, and now they got to prove. Now they got to prove why they are who they are. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this puts us in the conversation for a top five defense. I think this boosts everything for us. Everything you thought about this season now gets amplified, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Everything you thought we were going to accomplish add two more wins to it. This guy is an impact player, and he's ready to he's ready to contribute from day one.